In this video, we're going to have a look at some basic prompts using Recoder. And to do that, we're going to head over to the command line interface, and that can be accessed by clicking here or by clicking G on the keyboard. So I've clicked on the G, and now I'm going to add a section. So we simply type in the word section and enter, and the section is created. If I wanted to create more than one section, I would simply enter section multiply that by two and I'm able to add two sections if you see this on the right hand side where some of the text is uh, broken off simply just expand the size of the uh, side panel and you'll be able to see the full text so there we have the three sections now what I'm going to do is add three divs inside this particular section so once again off to the command prompt and now what I'm going to do is div and simply div times three enter and I have three divs inside that section in the next section I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to add a class to each of those divs so once again head over to the command prompt and now what I'm going to do is type in div full stop and in this case I'm going to add a div class so let's call it div class and now I'm going to multiply that by three and enter and there we have the three divs and if I click on each div you'll see that each div now has the class div class right so that's how easy it would be then to create that section with the divs and the classes now what I'm going to do is add another section and what I'm going to do in this section here is I'm going to add some text inside each of those divs. So what we do now is we head over to the command prompt and we're going to say make a div and let's give that div the class. Now you'll see that my class is listed in the prompt. Simply select it and enter div class and what we're going to do now is we're going to add some text so let's do some text which is a text link which is that text and then what I'm also going to do is add some standard text which is not a link and then what I'm going to do is use that icon and what we're going to do is we're going to say that particular instance and times that by three times and now we're going to have the three divs in that section so enter and now you'll see that the three divs were created if I expand the section here on the right hand side you'll see that we have the div we have our div class there we have the text link and there we have some standard text if I wanted to change the text in this particular item over here I can quickly type in new text and enter and you'll see that the text changes in the same way I can select this text with a link and also just in a very quick way type in the new text and enter and there we have the text link so that's how you would uh, create your text and that's how you can quickly edit your text simply by using the command prompt. Now we're going to have a look at adding icons and images. First thing I'm going to do is hit G to get to the command prompt, then section. Now what I'm going to do is add a div and inside that div I'm going to add an icon and enter and you'll see that when I look at the section I have a div and inside that div I have an icon so if I wanted to add a section so let's head back to the command prompt I want to add a section and what I'd like to do is add a div and inside that div I'd like to add an icon and now I would like to create three of those so I'm now going to select the multiplication icon and three 
and now I'm going to create the section with a div and three icons so there we have the section the div and the three icons if I wanted to wrap each icon in the div to create an icon section then I would do the following so I would head back to my command prompt I'm now going to add a new section and in that section I'm now going to add a div and inside that div I'm going to add an icon and what I'm going to do is I'm now going to multiply that div with the icon times three inside the section and enter and there you can see that I've created the section the three divs and then an icon inside each div to add images we're going to follow a similar process so what I'm going to do is delete these three divs or sections should I say so I've deleted those sections and now I'm going to add a new section with an image select the G for the prompt and we'll add section and in this case then let's add the div and then we'll add the image and enter and there you can see that we've added the image and the image is added inside the div so once again let's now create a section where we have three divs and an image in each of those divs so once again we're gonna head back to the command prompt I'm then going to create a section and inside that section a div and inside that div I'm going to create an image and what I'm going to do now is once again take that uh, element and I'm going to multiply it three times and enter so now you'll see that I've created a section and in that section we have the three divs and each of those divs we have an image so that's how you can create the image inside the div inside the section so similar to the icon now we're going to mix that up with some text and icons and images so to do that what I'm going to do is delete the two sections and we're going to start with a new section so back to the command prompt we go section greater than let's do the div let's do greater than again and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I would like inside this div I would like an image plus an icon plus I would like some text and the text should be uh, mixed content and then I'm going to simply hit enter so there we've created the section and inside that section we have a div and inside that div we have the image the icon and the text now let's say I'd like to create a section and I'd like to multiply three of those elements so that I have three divs with that particular mix what I'm going to do then is add a section so command prompt we add the section greater than we enter the div and now what I'm going to do is add the let's add the image plus the icon plus the text and the text this time will be let's call it three elements and then I'm going to say take that group of elements and multiply it by three times and I'm going to hit enter and now you'll see here that I've created the section inside the section I have three divs inside each div then I have the image the icon and the text so that's how you would create the various elements now one of the things that you'll notice now is that because there are no classes applied that everything just comes out looking pretty much the same so what is a useful tip is to create classes that you'll need so that when you create the sections with the classes applied they are formatted correctly so for example in this section maybe I would like to have them next to each other so that would mean that I would need a class for each of those elements plus I would need a class for the section 
so that we do a horizontal uh, flex layout. If I want to see what the CSS would need to look like to style that, we head over here to this icon and now we can actually have a look and see, okay, so for this particular section, this is the uh, CSS that I would need. Display flex, flex direction row. The elements in here can't be copied. So what we would do now is create a class with this setting. And to do that quite easily, we can head over here to the interface. We'll enter a class name. So let's call that section class. Now you can't see what's written there, so we simply drag the side panel open and now we can see the full name. So we're going to say section class, add the class, and now what I'm going to do is simply m copy the styles over to the section class. Now what I'm going to do in a similar way is I'm now going to head over to this div so that's the div, and in that div, I will now just create the class, so or the style. So I'm going to head over here, and I'm just going to give it some size and spacing of, let's call it 10 pixels, and that's just going to give it a nice border. And then in the layout, I, or not the, in the layout, yes, in the layout, we're going to have that centered. So there we have it centered inside the element and we're going to justify the content and with that in place now I'm going to add a class so the class that I'll enter here will be div class I'm going to add the class and now what I'm going to do is copy the elements from the section copy the styles to the div class so now they've been applied to the div class so we have a div class and we have a section class. And now we're going to recreate this element with those items already formatted. So what I'm going to do is head over here to my command prompt and we're going to go section greater than and now we're going to apply the class. So we know that it's section and you'll see there is section class so we can select that. Then what we do is we go to div dot and now we can go div and we look for the div class and now we add the elements so we know that we had an image we had the icon and then we had some text and we'll call this formatted text right so let's just fix that typo there right so we have the formatted text and then we're going to take that section of content multiply by three so now when we hit enter you'll see that we have those three elements already formatted so now you can see just how nice it is in that you're able to save a lot of time by creating these elements using the command prompt to change the text for an element you can simply select the element head over to the command prompt and we can enter new text here and enter and you'll see that we now have new text here and the next one we can do the same thing some other text enter command prompt here and enter and you'll see that that's how easy it is to change the text so probably a little bit quicker than double clicking or selecting and retyping simply using the command prompt so that's how you can change the text in an element if you wanted to rename the section then we can also do that via the command prompt. So into the command prompt and now we'll call that new name and enter. 
and now you'll see on the right hand side here that that element is now called the new name so very easy then to rename the sections to the names that you prefer have a look at adding an icon box and to do that we'll do the G for the command prompt we'll, we'll add a section we won't add a class to the section this time and we will do the I box and enter and there you can see that we have the exig the oxygen icon box input into that particular section now what we can do if we want to have three icons aligned for an icon box we'll simply then head back to our command prompt we'll do a section then we'll do the section class that we created we'll then do the div with the div class and then we'll do the icon box i box and we'll do three of those elements and then we'll enter and now you'll see that we have the three icon boxes next to each other for some reason the although the icon box is replicated three times in the first icon box the icon isn't inserted in the second icon box the icon isn't inserted but it is inserted in the third icon box so you'll also notice here that um, the yeah things are a little bit different um, that could just be a bug that would need to be ironed out as the plugin gets refined but if you wanted to correct that we can simply delete that icon box and head over to the command prompt simply type in ibox enter and the icon box is inserted correctly we head over to the second div ibox and enter and what you'll notice after a while is that you actually begin to look for the um, command prompt rather than the icon or the element on the left hand side in one of the menus you'll also notice now that we have the correct layout here that this layout is not entirely correct so what I'm going to do is delete that item if it will allow um, looks like I'll have to add another div so let's add that div then so there we would do the div and we know that it would be the div class and then what I'm going to do is add the I box the icon box and enter so there you can see uh, when the element went a bit awry we were able then to add the elements in manually and quite successfully so if the command doesn't work it's not that you've lost all the work you have to redo it you can go in and repair and I'm pretty sure that those bugs will be addressed as the um, as the development on the plugin progresses so that's how you can add the icon box we're now going to look at adding the video element so once again we're going to head over to the command prompt we're going to create a section and in that section we're going to create a video and enter and there we have the video element and you can see here on the left hand side that we have the standard video options and what I'm going to do now is just replace that with a link to a video and there we have the video inserted in our content in the next uh, section let's have a look at adding a button so to add the button we would then once again go to the command prompt let's do a section and in the section I'm going to do the uh, section class then what we'll do is we'll create a div and we'll do the div class and then what I'm going to do is add a button so to add the button we add a B for the button and what I'm going to do then is take that element and multiply it three times and now we're going to have a section and in that we'll have the div 
and we'll have the three buttons. So there we have the section and in that section we have the three buttons. Right, so that's pretty much how you would add the button and if I wanted to change a value on the button I can head over to the button hit the prompt and of course now inside the curly braces I could go button text enter the next button once again G new text and in the last button simply so that's how you would be able to um, insert the buttons and change the text on the buttons what you could also do then is you can see here that with the formatting it's uh, not equally spaced so if you wanted it equally spaced let's adjust our div class so uh, let's head over to the size and spacing and let's change the width of the div to 33.3 percent and now we have it nicely equally spaced in our content and that would also adjust where that div was applied in previous sections so that's how easy it is to then apply the button element to your content 